So hello friends. So today we'll uh, finish off with the uh, DC motors. So this is the last topic of uh, this unit: permanent magnet DC motors. So first of all, this uh, um, uh, we have seen um, uh, DC shunt motor, series motor, um, and compound DC motors. And the last topic in this uh, type is the permanent magnet DC motors. So permanent magnet DC motors are same as that of the ordinary DC shunt motor, and the only difference is that there is a permanent magnet instead of the uh, stationary field winding for producing the required magnetic field. These stationary electromagnets are fixed to the outer shell of the motor, and that's why the name as permanent magnet. so this is the outer shell of the motor and um, to this outer shell these are the permanent magnet this is south pole and this is north pole so and this is the rotor so in case of uh, other dc motors shunt dc motors uh, there is a field winding and a armature winding so field winding produces the necessary flux and uh, instead of uh, field winding uh, here it is a permanent magnet north and south pole and they are placed on the outer shell of this that's why the uh, name permanent magnet okay so now let us see first the constructional diagram of this so this is the constructional diagram uh, the constructional features of permanent magnet dc motor it is shown in this figure that is the cross section of a typical permanent magnet motor so this is the cross sectional uh, view so as seen from this figure the cylindrical steel uh, stator it is supporting the electromagnets and uh, also it provides the return path for magnetic flux as it is made up of magnetic material okay then the armature or the rotor uh, it consists of slots for winding so these are the slots these are the tips and in this slot these uh, small do uh, dots there are uh, holes they are shown as the winding so these are the windings okay uh, so the rotor consists of slots for winding then commutator segments and brushes so commutator segments and brushes same as those in conventional dc motors okay the stator is having some uh, structure having cylindrical shell of uniform thickness which is magnetized in radial direction then the material used for permanent magnet it is having high residual flux density and high um correctivity so for motors having up to 150 kw the material like alnico it is used and uh, uh, the ferrite magnets are used in the fractional kw motors where uh, rare earth magnets having uh, enough cost which are very costly and are economical in small uh, large motors uh, small and large motors <coughs> so this is the constructional uh, diagram of it <coughs> you can write about the materials even then the working and the performance characteristics so the motor normally uh, it runs on 6 volt 12 volt or 24 volt uh, dc supply so this dc supply can be made available from batteries or from rectifiers that is which converts ac to dc and because of the interaction between the flux produced by the permanent magnet and the current carried by the armature the torque is produced because in order to produce torque you will require two magnetic fields okay now the equivalent uh, circuit of this uh, permanent magnet dc motor is as shown in this uh, figure um, 
सो परमनंट मैग्नेट डीसी मोटर्स यू मैट हव सीन अपन गणपति सा जी छोटी स्मॉल मोटर यूज करते ना ती दैट मोटर इज नथिंग बट द परमनंट मैग्नेट डीसी मोटर ओके देन दिस आर ए इन दिस इक्वेल सर्किट इट रिप्रेजेंट द रेजिस्टन्स ऑफ द आर्मेचर वाइंडिंग एंड दिस इज द आर्मेचर वाइंडिंग शोन वेर दिस ईबी इज द बैक ई एम एफ एंड द फील्ड वाइंडिंग कनेक्शन आर एबसेंट बिकॉज द इंस्टेड ऑफ फील्ड वाइंडिंग देर इज अ परमनंट मैग्नेट ओके सो इन कन्वेन्शनल मोटर Uh, we can uh, write the emf equation back emf equation as eb is equal to phi uh, pn z upon 60a uh, so where n by 60 you can write it as a small n where uh, it is in rps so this eb will be equal to phi z small n p by a now this z p and a these are the constant values So I have written over here and into phi into m, but n you know uh, omega is equal to two pi n. So from this relation we can write small n is equal to omega upon two pi. So instead of n I have written here omega upon two pi. So two pi again constant. So I will take it on this side. So it will become z p upon two pi into a into phi into omega, right? Now this is a constant, so I can replace it by a proportionality constant. Say it is Ka. So Eb is equal to Ka into phi into omega. That means Eb is directly proportional to phi and omega. And also we know that torque equation for uh, conventional DC motor. It is equal to one upon two pi phi into Ia into Pz upon A. Or Instead of one upon two pi, we have written it as point one five nine. So uh, again, these constants P, Z, A, and one upon two pi. So I have clubbed all these constants here. So Z P upon two pi A. So Z P upon two pi A is nothing but K. I have replaced it. So torque is equal to again K into phi into I. so i can uh, replace it by a proportionality sign so torque is proportional to phi into i so this we know we have already seen the back emf eb it is proportional to phi into omega and torque is proportional to phi into i so this is for conventional dc motor now in case of permanent magnet dc motors this uh, resultant flux is phi, phi is constant because here We have used a permanent magnet. So, in case of conventional DC motor, there was a winding field winding. So, we can change the current through that field winding so that flux linkage will be changing. So, flux it was it was proportional to the field current I F. But here, as the permanent magnets are there, this flux phi value it is constant. So, again, this K into phi. You can uh, replace it by a, another constant as Km. Say so, Km is equal to K into phi as a constant. So, torque will be proportional to I A and E B will be proportional to omega. So, E B is equal to Km into omega and torque is equal to Km into I A. So, these two equations are for. the permanent magnet dc motor and from this you can find now km value so km is equal to eb by omega you can substitute this km value here also in torque equation so torque is km uh, into ia so km it will be eb by omega so eb by omega into ia will be torque equation so these two equations are for the permanent magnet dc motor and the supply voltage equation voltage equation you can write it as v is equal to eb plus iara so for this eb is nothing but km into omega so substitute eb as km into omega so uh, v is equal to km into omega into plus ia into ra okay so uh, the value of omega or speed you can calculate it from 
omega is equal to v minus i r a divided by k m. So this is the value of omega. Okay. So these are the few relations: torque equation, uh, E B equation, torque equation, and omega equation for permanent magnetic DC motors. Now the performance characteristics of uh, torque speed characteristics of uh, permanent magnet DC motor. It is drawn like this. So it is constant, almost constant, um, and uh, speed increases as uh, the input current or armature current increases. So the speed torque characteristics are almost linear, which makes it suitable in servo motors. Okay, with increase in torque, the current also increases. Then the efficiency of these motors is better than the conventional motors, owing to absence of field losses. Then, as the field flux is remaining constant, phi value is constant because of the permanent magnet. So the speed control is not possible beyond the rated value, which is uh, controlled by the flux. So in conventional DC motor, we have seen two methods of speed control. One was uh, by controlling the armature current, and another was by controlling the flux. That is the field current. So here, no question of any field current, as it is a permanent magnet, uh, is used to produce flux. So flux is constant. So flux weakening method is not available in this. That means we cannot go beyond the Uh, normal speed or rated speed. Uh, so speed control will be only from zero to uh, rated speed. Okay. So um, this is the uh, this is all about this uh, permanent magnet DC motor. Now the advantages and uh, drawbacks. So the major advantages of this uh, DC motor are. Uh, they do not require any external excitation for producing the magnetic fields so uh, thus uh, there is a saving in energy required for creating the magnetic fields so in as in conventional motor okay then as the windings on the field are absent the size of these motors is very small as compared to the equal rating of conventional motor then cost of these machines is very low and efficiency of these motors is very high as compared to conventional motors as the field losses are absent then the motors are designed up to 12 volt or less so they produces less tv and radio interference and these motor produces less air noise as compared to the uh, conventional dc motors so these all are the advantages of uh, these uh, permanent magnet motors and uh, drawbacks or disadvantages are the excessive current in the armature winding of these motors it may damage the uh, it may demagnetize the permanent magnets that means it will damage the uh, flux uh, system and uh, that that is because of the armature uh, reaction mmf magnetic motive force okay then the other sources of demagnetization are improper design or brush shift or temperature effects then the flux density produced in the air gap by the permanent magnets is limited this is also a major drawback of this motor and the speeds above the normal speeds or the rated speeds are not possible because the flux is constant so flux weakening method cannot be used in these uh, type of motors and as the magnets are totally enclosed to prevent them from the magnetic jump as compared to the conventional motors their temperature is higher which is the limitation in applications where the motor is used for short period okay so uh, these are the advantages and uh, disadvantages of permanent magnet dc motors 
and the last topic is the applications of these permanent magnet motors now these permanent magnet uh, dc motors they are available in uh, very small size and that's why they are major majorly preferred in automobiles for windshield wipers and washers they are also used in blowers used in heaters and air conditioners then they can be used for raising and lowering the uh, power windows uh, and in slot cars okay then the disk drives in personal computers then uh, as the um, ratings available are up to 150 kilowatts this can be also used for the applications like fans radio antennas then electric fuel pumps marine engine starter then uh, wheelchairs cordless power tools toy industries toothbrush food mixer ice crusher vacuum cleaner and in many more uh, portable electrical tools okay so all these applications i have practically shown it to you in the uh, two videos which uh, i have already uh, told you and uh, i have uploaded it on the um, on my channel youtube channel so you go through those uh, videos you will be able to um, see those applications and um, no need to mug up them okay so with this we have finished with this uh, particular unit now uh thank you for this and uh, now let us see what are the different uh, questions um, possible questions which may be asked in the examination so i'll switch over to the another slide uh, please bear with me and um, um, after revising um, after um, um, studying what are the probable questions we'll stop our discussion for today Okay thank you